In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, O Lord, visit me today in the name of Jesus. O Lord, visit me today in the name of Jesus. O Lord, visit me today in the name of Jesus. O Lord, visit me today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. If you are not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. Today is day 86. Today is day 86 of our 100 days prayer of mercy and forgiveness. Day 86 of our 100 days prayer of mercy and forgiveness. Glory be to the Lord. We want to thank the name of the Lord for His goodness upon our lives and for the strength and for the grace He has given us to start this program with a good intention to having that relationship with God. But we thank God that today being 86, day 86, it has been so refreshing and so blissful to us. I pray for as many people that are participating in this program. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Almighty will help you. The Lord Almighty will have mercy upon you. Why is it so? When the mercy of God comes upon your life, every other thing will be taken care of by the Almighty God. When the mercy of God comes, what happens? There will be changes in your life. When the mercy of God comes, that closed door will be open. When the mercy of God comes, oh, that marital breakthrough is possible. That financial breakthrough is possible. That children, that foot of the womb is possible. That court case is possible for your victory when the mercy of God comes. I pray the mercy of God will come upon your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So if you have prayer points, maybe you have been praying, God, God, I need this, God, I need this, and God has not shown forth towards your supplication, write your prayer request to us. Write your prayer request to us at eJoshuaTV at gmail.com. eJoshuaTV at gmail.com. The same thing applies to testimony. Testifies. If you, want to, if you want to testify or if you want to share your testimony, due to the course of this program. You can share it to that, um, you can send it to that email. And the Lord Almighty will continue to give you more testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our working scriptures say that you should trust in the Lord with all your heart. When you don't trust in the Lord with all your heart, God cannot move. When you don't trust in the Lord with all your heart, that mountain cannot become plain before you. When you cannot trust God in your heart, that means fear will come in. Then devil will continue to manipulate you because you don't trust in the Lord. Some people trust in the Lord and yet they trust more on men or devil more than God. So, and at the same time, God is telling you and I that in that problem, in that plan or in that project, do not lean on your own perspective. Do not lean on your own understanding. Do not say, ah! How will God do it? Yes, ah, marital breakthrough, fruit of the womb. How will God do it? You are leaning on your own understanding. So do not lean on your own understanding. Let your trust in the Lord be so strong. And the Bible says, in all thy ways, always acknowledge Him, always praise Him, always worship Him, always have that interaction with your Heavenly Father. And once you do this, the Bible says, He shall direct your path. May God direct your path in Jesus' name. Our Confession Bible verse is taken from the book of Psalm 106, verse 4. Our Confession Bible verse is taken from the book of Psalm 106, verse 4. Psalm 106, verse 4. The Bible says, Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. May the Lord visit you with his salvation in Jesus' name. And may the Lord remember you by the power of his mercies in Jesus' name. Praise and worship for 15 minutes. Praise and worship for 15 minutes. Close your eyes. Take prayer for number one loud and clear. Say, fire of God.
destroy the weapon of the enemy assigned against me. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, destroy the weapon of the enemy assigned against me. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, destroy the weapon of the enemy assigned against me in Jesus' name. Prayer point number two, say, my hands refuse to befriend loss and poverty. In the name of Jesus, my hands refuse to befriend loss and poverty. Declare something, declare positive things into your hands. What do you want God to do with your hands? Begin to declare it. Say, God, I soak my hands in the blood of Jesus. Anything I started with my hands, I shall complete it. Anything I touch with my hands shall be blessed. That thing shall prosper. That thing shall receive life. Begin to declare positive things into your hands. Say, my hands refuse to befriend loss and poverty in Jesus' name. Prayer number three. Say, my father, deliver me from the consequences of every negative confession I have made in the name of Jesus. My father, deliver me from the consequences of every negative confession I have made in the name of Jesus. My father, deliver me from the consequences of every negative confession I have made in my life or in the time past in Jesus' name. Prayer number four. Say, powers are sent to make me feel that my prayers cannot solve my problems. I command you to die. In the name of Jesus, powers are sent to make me feel that my prayers cannot solve my problems. I command you to die. In the name of Jesus, powers, principalities, forces of witchcraft, forces of darkness, I converge you together to make sure that my prayers do not receive solution, that my prayers will not be able to solve my problems. I command you to die in Jesus' name. Prayer number five. Say, Father, give me the grace to be a blessing to others around me. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me the grace to be a blessing to those around me. Give me that grace. Grant me that grace, O Lord, to be a blessing, supernatural blessings to those around me. Those around me, Father, give me that power to be a blessing to them, to be a blessing to them, to those around me. In Jesus' name. Prayer number six. Declare this loud and clear in the book of Psalm chapter 1. I want to declare this. Say, I shall flourish like the palm tree and grow as cedar of Lebanon in the name of Jesus. Declare this many times. Say, I shall flourish like the palm tree and grow as cedar of Lebanon in the name of Jesus. I shall flourish like the palm tree and grow as cedar of Lebanon in Jesus' name. Prayer number 7. Say, declare this 21 times. Say, I will not miss the day of God's visitation in my life in the name of Jesus. I will not miss the day of God's visitation in my life in the name of Jesus. I will not miss the day of God's visitation in my life in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray. May you never miss divine visitation in your life. It is not when the Holy Spirit is coming to intervene in your life. It's coming to, you know, to your home, just coming to your house to bless you. It is that time you want to travel. It is that time you want to meet up with one appointment or the other. After God has shown you that you should stay at home, He wants to come and bring blessings to you. Take that prayer point. Say, Oh Lord, I will not miss the day of God's visitation. God is speaking to many people, but because of the destruction of the world, too many engagements in their, in their mind they could not be able to detect if God is actually speaking to them. If God is speaking to you, that is divine visitation. So you must clear your mind, let your mind be sound so that you can get signal. You can get signal or activities from heaven. The 86 prayer assignment, the 86 prayer assignment, I want to shout this prayer point. Point your hands to the heavens and shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, my personal heaven, Open by fire in the name of Jesus. My personal heaven, open by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse taken from the book of Psalm 138 verse 1. Psalm 138 verse 1, the Bible says, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. Continue to praise God. Continue to worship him. Be glad that he has done it. Be glad that he has done it. Praise him. Do you know that praise is one of the powerful tools you can get God's attention towards your life? 
Yes, you might have been praying, 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 praying. Why can't you try praise and worship? Dance. Don't allow enemy to feel that the problem the assignment gives you is really working. No, when you, when you praise God, you smile, you happy. Hmm? So try as much as possible to praise God. Praise God. Worship. Don't take some time. Maybe within a week or two weeks. Just say, this time, I want to praise God. No prayer, nothing, nothing. I want to praise God. I want to appreciate His holy name in my life. God has done so many things in our lives. Many of us are very greedy. Are very greedy. When you ask God, God, I need a financial breakthrough. Go, look, look, look. If you give me the financial breakthrough. After giving the financial breakthrough, the next thing is, God, I need a job. I need something. God will give you. Why can't you thank Him for those things He has done? No. If you want to receive more things from God, thank Him for what He has done in your life. Secretly, even without you knowing. So may God give us wisdom in Jesus' name. So if this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.